was staying with a man that said you don't even deserve steak, my guy. You don't even deserve steak. You deserve a lunchable. You know, I got that when I was little, damn near in preschool, kindergarten. And you talking about I need a lunchable? I am a grown woman. <laughs> Let me feed you a lunchable. How about that? What do you do, y'all? This your girl, Star Jack Craziness, and I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Baby, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> What's going on with Atlanta? <laughs> People in Atlanta don't even live in Atlanta, but they still get put in Atlanta mess. Has a lot of stuff going on in these streets. From Peter, now we back on Drew and Ralph the Ralph. Now... I'm so confused on this situation, but TMZ did a little update. If you didn't know, uh, Ralph filed for a divorce from Drew Sedora, but they're saying now Drew Sedora beat him to the punch. I'm sitting here like, did they really do a race off? <laughs> did they really get in their cars and do a race off to see who was going to make it to the courthouse first? Like, I'm going to need somebody from TMZ or somebody on in the paparazzi field to get their footage because I just cannot believe that but they said Drew beat him by an hour an hour now to file for a divorce so this is the update information on the situation and this was at 9 45 a.m we now have a clearer picture of how nasty and petty this divorce is going to be turns out Drew actually filed for a divorce before Ralph 61 minutes before him. TMZ obtained her divorce petition and Gwinnett County Court stamped it as received on February the 27th at one <laughs> I can't I can't make this up y'all on February the 27th at 1 10 p.m. Meanwhile on Ralph's side of the fence his documents were stamped at 2 11 p.m. That same day. Interestingly enough, she lists their separation date as February 23rd. Wow, he says it's February 19th. Which one is it, y'all? Like, come on. Did y'all and y'all supposed to this supposed to be a mutual agreement and y'all can't even get the dates right. One more thing. Both parties say their marriage is irretrievably broken. What the hell does that mean? You know what? You know I'm good for it. So let's go on ahead and put what irretrievably broken means when it comes to a marriage. So irretrievably broken means one or both spouses believe the marriage is simply over and neither places blame nor fault on one another. So they just, like I said, this is a mutual understanding. We ain't going to place blame on one another. It's just going to be what it's going to be. And then I I was watching... um. Was it House of Aaron? He's a blogger as well. And he brought up a good point. I totally forgot about this. You were staying with a man that said you don't even deserve steak, my guy. You don't even deserve steak. You deserve a lunchable. You know, I got that when I was little, damn near in preschool, kindergarten. And you talking about I need a lunchable? Nigga, I am a grown woman. <laughs> Let me feed you a lunchable. How about that? But, um, yeah, that, that just took me to another place. But, anyways, back to the scheduled program. But, however, Drew also says she reserves the right to add additional ground for divorce if they can't reach an amicable settlement. Ralph laid out what he... How is he going to be calling the shots? What the heck? On what he wants out of their split, touching on how he wants to handle their two kids in their shared property. In the documents obtained by TMZ, Ralph, who says he and Drew separated on February 19th of this year, makes it clear he wants joint physical and legal custody of their seven-year-old son and their five-year-old daughter. Drew has another kid from a prior relationship. While he might not be fighting her on the kid front, he is pushing back on the notion of paying spousal support, noting Drew makes good enough money from her reaction. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. This Negro said she makes good enough money on 
Real Housewives of Atlanta. But you was on Real Housewives of Atlanta as well. And I know she, she cut you something. Or they cut you something. Somebody cut you something on something. And you tell me, boy, you bet. Child, he said, no, ma'am, no, sir. I'm not paying when you make enough money to uh support our kids. Although he says she's rolling in Bravo dough, Ralph claims she hasn't made any financial contributions to the household throughout a majority of their partnership. Then comes the cars. Ralph says he wants his Porsche and his 2018 Cadillac while calling on Drew to be responsible for her own 2021 Cadillac. No word yet on the crib. While this is perhaps surprising to some, others who've been following the relationship on the show since Drew officially joined in 2020 says there's been trouble on the horizon. But we already knew that and just how he treated her and talked to her like she a little kid. Like, boy, you better go on about your business. Why? Never mind. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. This is just a hot ass mess. A hot mess.